is frozen particles that have been left over from the creation of the universe. And as these particles get closer and closer to the sun, they start heating up quicker and quicker. When these particles get hot enough, they start spewing out dust and gas-like forms, which can stretch tens of millions of miles wide. And I am going to try and capture one of these beautiful galactic objects tonight. Well, I say tonight, I mean tomorrow morning, 5, 6 a.m. I'm going to be out trying to capture the latest comet that's been discovered, which is Comet Neowise, and it was discovered with the Neowise telescope this year. So to shoot this comet, I'm going to be using my Canon 60D and a nice static tripod. I'm not going to be doing any tracked. It's not necessary with these short exposures. They're going to be one to two seconds dependent on my star trailing, and I'm going to bunk it up to ISO 800. I've managed to track the comet down. It's going to be diagonally to the left of the star Capella, which is actually initially going to be straight ahead of me where I am 6 to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. The clouds are looking patchy, but I've got limited time to do this and I really want to try and get the shot. If there's a break in the cloud, that's all I need and I'm going to get shooting. So fingers crossed the clouds clear. The winds are completely down, which is absolutely ideal. Fingers crossed the clouds clear, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> I live in Scotland as a lot of you know and the weather is really unpredictable and it just went to pot if I'm perfectly honest. The clouds came over and each time I saw a break I went absolutely crazy. I tried to get a shot, it never worked out. By that point it was too bright, it was like 6-7am and it was too bright and if I'd taken a long exposure shot it would have been overexposed and you wouldn't have been able to see the comet. So tonight it's looking a little bit better than last night, still patchy. As you can probably hear, it's gonna be a little bit windy as well, but that shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully tonight works out a lot better. It's gonna be darker, so I'm gonna be able to see it standing out from um, other things in the sky a lot better. Last night I actually did see an International Space Station pass, and there is one due tonight as well. There's two due tonight, three and five, I think. I'm gonna go and recharge my batteries, literally myself and my camera, and I will see you guys at 2 a.m. I don't do well with the heat, so that would really go to pot. But I want clear skies! <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? So last night I did actually manage to photograph Comet Neowise, which was absolutely incredible considering the conditions. It was really cloudy, like much like the night before actually when I tried to shoot it for the first time, but it was second time lucky, second time in a row. It was really hazy, really, really patchy. I was lucky to get the shot that I did. I unfortunately couldn't stack the images because the cloud was obviously moving along the frame every two second exposure or two and a half second exposure, I should say. So the cloud was moving and at some points it would move over the comet So with a stack of 20 photos you wouldn't have been able to see it at all So I had to just work with what I had In the end I got a 2.5 second exposure at ISO 200 um, and f5.6 With an 135mm lens and my Canon 60D untracked Huge shout out to mum for coming and accompanying me um, the last two nights actually she came out both nights she was um, helping me film some b-roll and keeping me company in the cold and dark in the middle of nowhere which was much appreciated so thank you mum I hope you had a blast <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you managed to capture Comet Neowise as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, happy stargazing, stay safe and clear skies. Ooh.